As you know, protocols are an essential brick in networks. They change the nature of a link. They can, for example, be used to get a specific resource on the web, make a connection reliable, and send the information to a destination. To do that, protocols add new information to the data they transport. This information is called headers, since they are usually added before the data. The header is structured into fields. Protocols are specialized for a particular operation and stacked together to build a full communication system. For example, the IPv6 header, used to forward the packet to the right destination, is made up of several fields. When we look at the standard, they have a name, like IPv6 version or IPv6 destination address. But if we look inside the header, this name has no importance. What matters is the position. For instance, the standard imposes the header to start with a version number of 4 bits, immediately followed by a traffic class on 8 bits, and so on. But that is not always the case. For example, HTTP developed a more flexible strategy. Some fields have a specified position, such as the first line, which starts here with the method get followed by an URI, here a slash character, followed by the protocol version. All these fields are separated by space characters. The rest of the header is made up of options. They can be different from one request to the other, or even from one web browser to the other. To distinguish between the option fields, they are named. The first word before the colon is the option name. And after the colon, we find the option content. Understanding how the headers are structured is important for Sheik compression. Sheik will not work directly on the header, but on an abstract description of the header that can be generalized to any protocol fields. This is called a field description. But before we look into more details on how Sheik abstracts the fields and headers, let us take a look with Anna at the protocol we will use for the Internet of Things communications. Thanks, Laurent. We are going to focus on this part on the protocol stack developed by IETF for the Internet of Things. It is composed of several protocols. In the top, we find CoAP, which is the equivalent of HTTP, but for constrained devices and networks. The implementation footprint is very limited compared to HTTP, and the size of exchange messages can be very short. CoAP runs on top of UDP, which is also very light and does not require a complex implementation and a lot of messages compared to TCP used by HTTP. Under UDP, we find IP protocols, since the addressing space for IPv4 is saturated. IPv6 is a natural choice for new usages. Evermore, the IPv6 header has fewer fields than IPv4, and the compression is easier. The last layer represents the technology used to send the packet. In our case, we will look at LP1 technologies. In the next videos, we will detail these different protocols and of course examine all their headers. So I hope you enjoyed this video and see you soon for more on Sheik.